Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show right here on SBC3. Happy Thursday to all of you. Yeah. As you can see, I'm a little playing with my little kittens. But you know yeah. that old saying, raining cats and dogs, <laughs> actually bears some weight. Did you know that we are in the time of the year known as kitten season? And now more than ever is when we can lend a helping hand to animal and rescue shelters in this regard. I hope oh. you, can, you can cope with all of that cuteness going oh. on. You might just hear a little mew on your, on your microphone very <laughs> shortly. Now, here to break this down for us is Luke Crate, the marketing coordinator coordinator for Tears Animal Rescue, alongside volunteer Michelle van Minnen, as they share more about their upcoming kitten shower event on Saturday the 31st of October and Sunday the 1st of November, giving you plenty of time to think about adopting one of these gems. <laughs> and right on cue, right there, a little... <laughs> Is he scared? Is he scared of me? No. no. Just, just, okay. Okay. Good. Well, okay. well you, you know, you like, asked for it and now you have it, uh, Jamie scared? Lee. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy. Okay. Luke, Michelle, great to have you guys Good here. Morning. Oh, man. I mean, how, how do you guys cope with all, all the cuteness around you and what you do? And uh, it must be just such a, a joy to the heart to be able to experience this on the daily, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you never really get used to it with all the cuteness everywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm help. keeping this one. But I, I'll, I'll start right at the beginning. Just don't, don't poop in my face. Uh, what <laughs> is a kitten season and what does this mean for, you know, t the tears shelter and animal shelters in as a whole? Well, um, as the year starts warming up for spring and summer, um, a lot of the female cats go into season and fall pregnant and um, shelters in general are inundated and overwhelmed by the number of pregnant moms and orphan kittens needing help. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty much a whole worldwide phenomenon is, is kitten season. Okay. Well, Michelle, maybe you can tell us about these cute little kittens that you've brought <laughs> along with you this morning. Yeah. I was saying they must be the, the cutest in... in They're the... very cute. Yeah. <laughs> very, very cute. That's Thor over there. Thor climbed into oh, a... Thor. 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 Wow. I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's trying to climb back up to Asgard. <laughs> Just get there. And he did that in a car engine. So oh. we don't know where he climbed in with his brother or his sister, and he ended up in the docks in Cape Town. Oh and um, someone stuck the, or the owner of the car stuck his hand in to change something, and one of them scratched him. <laughs> so luckily, they were okay. So we don't know where they climbed in, but um, nice. so the sister was adopted on site, and then Thor came to me to be fostered. Um, this is Thor. That's Thor, Thor. And his little brother from another mother, Loki, <laughs> here, is actually from Westlake. <laughs> Loki. So, Loki. Loki. Oh, yes. Loki. So it's no, no, Thor no, 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 and Loki. Loki. It's oh. Loki. It's, oh, like, Loki. <laughs> like the brother of Thor. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Sorry. You know that whole thing. It's a moment. Yeah. It's, it's the whole uh, movie no, thing. No, yeah. you get, I get it now. With the hammer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So were they together? No. So um, Loki here is from Westlake. Yes. So one, uh, Tears was assisting the community, and then someone ran off to the van with this one and said, Hey, Help. wait. <laughs> yeah, so he's also in foster care with me. And you oh. have a little one. Yes, I have there. a baby. Oh, my goodness. I, I thought that was just a blanket to keep <laughs> no. these two women. You have another one in there. This is a very small... <laughs> th so it's, he's actually a week old today. Oh. So this is Peanut. Peanut is... Yeah. This Peanut's... is literally the Lion King <laughs> happening before my very eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. Peanut is fed every two hours with a bottle. Okay. Uh, around the clock, so full-time job. Mm. I, I don't think um, I've ever seen a, a kitten that young ever in my no. life before. No, moms are that, it's with their moms at this age, and normally if they're feral or um, not house cats, they'll be mm. somewhere safe and hiding until they're big enough to start wow. exploring a bit. But, yeah. These names are very interesting, Thor, <laughs> Loki, Peanut. How do they get their names? Is it based on their personality, it, on their story? <laughs> It sometimes, but we have a lot of kittens, so it's just whatever comes to mind. Comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, there's a lot of kittens. And, and normally the adopters change them uh, to suit them or whatever, but it's, it's sometimes the names are very appealing to people for adoptions. Yes. So, like Thor and Loki, it screams out at people. Absolutely. So, yeah. Oh, wow. It's cool. And Peanut just looks like a little peanut. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. He's, yeah. So, so we're in kitten season, as we yes. talked about earlier on. Um, how many kittens are you expecting to help out to find new homes during yeah. this season? So um, during the kitten season, we're probably expecting to help about 600 kittens. So that's oh whether we're going to rescue and rehome them or we're going to help with our veterinary clinics. So we do a lot of outreach work in low-income communities and assist with veterinary care and vaccinations and deworming. So yeah, this year we're expecting all over 600 kittens um, that need a bit of help. 
Hmm. And what is the process if the if you know people out there want to assist in this so or just help or give back to these little cutie pies? And what is the process with regards to that? Well, for us, the biggest thing is money. We need the money to, to transform these little lives. Um, a journey costs about a thousand five hundred rand to two thousand rand per kitten to get them from rescue to ready to be rehomed. Yes. Um, for the vaccinations, they're sterilised, they're microchipped, they get tested for AIDS and leukaemia as well. Um, we also always need help with the medical expenses as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so if anybody wants to help, um, we've got a um, donation portal, so you can visit our website, it's tears.org.za and donate yeah. towards kitten season. And then we're also hosting a kitten shower for our, it's called kind of like a baby shower, but for kittens, because <laughs> we are expecting. Because <laughs> <laughs> kittens hate water, don't they? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so we've got a gift registry and people can donate um, products and items that we need for the kittens online. So yeah. they can also visit our website and, and give some kittens, or give some gifts to the kittens. Yeah. I also just want to reflect on the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, adopting and having a pet in your home is quite a, it's quite a serious thing. It's exactly. to be taken very seriously. Absolutely. So, how do you know when you are ready to adopt? Well, you need to make sure that you can afford a pet because they are, are quite expensive, especially the kittens. They need follow-up vaccinations, mm -hmm. food is very expensive. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure that you've got enough money stashed away in case they get sick or they need veterinary care. Mm -hmm. um, what we can always do as well is, is you submit an ad adoption questionnaire and we can kind of gauge and see what kind of cat you're looking for. It'll okay. be the best suited kitten or cat for you. We can kind of steer you in the right direction as well. Yeah. Um, so we definitely need to help. We want to make sure the, the homes that we adopt out to are going to keep the kitties for a long Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And of, of course, on the other side of that, or beyond that, yes. lies, uh, you know, hopefully a very long time filled with memories and joy and oh, companionship exactly. that's brought to the family. Um, why did you guys choose to get involved in this <laughs> organization? What I got um, roped in when I was really young, sort of volunteering. Yeah? Um, and yeah, I'm just really passionate about animal welfare and trying to make the world a better place for animals, so I kind of just stuck around. <laughs> what what about you, Michelle? <laughs> yeah, the same. I um, started in South Korea, actually, with Rescue, and then, yeah, just oh. giving them a voice, literally, because, yeah, there's yeah. no one else to do it. So we need to speak for them and then make sure they can go to the best possible homes because it's never ending. Yeah, as, <laughs> as, as Loki's name dictates, he's yeah. like the little, the little god of mischief. Yeah. <laughs> may, may I hold him for a second? Of course. Is, is there any particular way of holding a, in, a, a kitten? He'll move We're around and strangle <laughs> so, so, so you, so you kind of hold him there. Okay, you keep yeah, okay, oh, okay, 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 you want to go Aww. all over the place, Loki? Okay, <laughs> here we go. Uh -huh. You can okay. settle yourself right over there. Michelle, I'm very interested in finding out the adoption wait, process. Wait, 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 you know, just I'm already <gasps> building an yeah. attachment <laughs> with Thor, yes. um, and Kat maybe just lost uh, Loki <laughs> over there. But if anybody wanted to adopt uh, any of the kittens, what would that be, that process be like? So um, they just go onto the TS website. Okay. There's a link, adopt. You click on dog or cat. Um, you fill in the adoption questionnaire. You're contacted then by the catchery manager or one of the staff at the catchery. Um, you make an appointment to go <laughs> and view the cats. Okay. And then play with them, see who you bond with. And then um, a home check is done. And there's an adoption fee. And then it's yeah, you go and collect them. Okay, so, so you need to come to my house okay. to check in. <laughs> oh. gonna, what I are think you it's doing? <laughs> Loki what, on a mission. <laughs> Loki is running away from your cat. He's scared of no, you. No, he's not. Uh, he's, we're playing a game called oh. called Jump from Uncle Cat's Lap. <laughs> so you just sit here. And then he, there we go. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Look at that. Look at him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's got it all sorted. All right, so uh, people, ha ha where do they get their, their tickets for the kitten shower? Um, so you just need to pop through at the catchery. So that's all online. If you visit the TS website again, check out our events page. Um, and yeah, bring something for the kittens, whether you're going to buy it online or you can bring it from home. And come and cuddle some kittens and see our adult cats as well looking for homes. Look, he's just like that typical kitten, hey? Like, he is. He I don't really need is. anybody's attention. No. I'll go where I want to go and do my yep. thing. Very busy. Doesn't stop. So. Yeah. yeah. So cute. Thank you very much for this. Thank very you. Very heartwarming. Wow.